Hey, what's up guys? I just want to make a quick video uh, kind of just expressing what's going on right now and it's super frustrating. So uh, I currently have a um, candida overgrowth. Uh, I don't know how severe you'd say it is. I would say it's pretty severe. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to overcome it or I am healing from it, uh, doing my best, but it's super frustrating because I know what exactly will heal me super quick because I felt it and that thing is uh, fruit. It is super ripe, uh, good quality ripe fruit and specifically bananas. And the reason why it's super frustrating right now is because they keep getting messed up and I live in a, a pretty a pretty cold climate. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, at least during the winter time and in the fall, it gets pretty cold. It's not super cold. I'm in Washington State, uh, and yeah, it's not it's not like super cold, but the bananas have been getting messed up, and a lot of it seems to be out of my control. Uh, we've been doing our best to make sure that the bananas don't get too cold. I've been keeping them in front of the fireplace. Uh, sometimes I've kept them too close and they've gotten a little bit too warm and got messed up that way. But most of the time they just seem to be getting this grayish color. And so they kind of look uh, gray and leathery and they never, and they kind of, here is what I'm kind of talking about. Yeah, they kind of look, they just don't look good. And so basically, basically when they're like this, they don't ripen properly. It means that they got too cold at some point. And a lot of it seems to be happening either when we transport them from the store through the outside into the car or uh, I've even seen some of the bananas earlier a couple like months ago where my um, brother brought my brother bought uh, some bananas and they looked gray right there and so I think it's been it's been really cold the last few months uh, getting down to in the teens of degrees and so I just from researching and experience anytime the bananas get too cold at all ever like even for the slightest bit of time this this kind of happens they get they they don't ripen properly they smell kind of funky they taste funky and they don't help me heal from the candida they make it worse. It's just like, it's basically like when I'm eating the bananas when they're like this, it's like having a, like just straight up sugar, which is not good for candida. But when they are perfectly ripe and looking good, so when they've never, when they haven't gotten too cold or anything like that, I feel like I'm healing really, really quick and really, really fast. And I am very sure that if I continue to eat at least mostly raw um, with the good quality fruit that I could heal, can't get the candida out of my system and pretty much heal the main issues uh, that are keeping me ill, uh, I'm pretty sure I could heal those really, really quick. And I would still, I mean, I would still take it very slow and probably continue to eat a lot of raw foods. Um, but yeah, it's just super frustrating because a lot of it seems to be out of my control. And it's so, so frustrating because I just have to wait and wait and wait and wait because the bananas just aren't getting good and we're doing everything we can to get them to be good. And I can't really eat a lot of other fruits because, I mean, I'm not going to get a lot of calories from apples. Mangoes are horrible quality. Um, we bought a bunch of pears that aren't 
ripening well. They're not that good. I mean, they're good when they're ripe, but they're just getting messed up. And so it's just super frustrating because I know that I know that I can at least be feeling a lot better um, having good ripe fruit. And so I just hope that in a couple months, when the weather starts to warm up, I can make a video that's saying, boom, like I'm, I'm healed of it. Because I've seriously felt, I've seriously felt like I could heal within a, a matter of weeks. At least get, get the overgrowth of candida out of my system within a few weeks. Like I felt that. And it's a, uh, like a perfect correlation between every time I've eaten the bananas when they've been not optimal and messed up somehow, I feel way worse and like that's when it gets really bad. But if I'm eating the bananas when they are ripe and, and good and they never got too cold and they are perfectly yellow with spots and soft and actually sweet, um, then I start to feel good. Then I start to have my bowel movements flowing. I start to clear out the candida. And this is what happened in September when I first started experimenting with raw foods was that the weather was warmer, the bananas ripened well, and the first day I felt kind of off, but then I had more mental clarity, and after a few days, the thrush on my tongue started to decrease, and my I just every symptom started to go away, and that was after just three days. And so, but, and it's, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy and super frustrating because I know, I know what will heal me, what will heal me. But I have to like wait and just kind of not feel good until that can happen. Until the factors that I need to be in place can be put into place. And I just have to not feel good, basically. I have to just... Basically, I have to just eat beans and not feel that bad, but not be able to do anything and not feel like I'm healing and not make any progress so if you've had any, if you've had any issues with banana ripening um let me know what you think uh i've i've seriously devoured everything on the internet in regards to bananas so i i pretty much i know what i know what the issue is it seems that it might just be out of my control like there might be times before I even touch the bananas that they get too cold and that seems to have been the case at least a few times so yeah I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna cut the video off right there uh just wanted to make this video real quick to do another update because it's just super frustrating because I know what I need to heal and I felt it 100% of the time every time I've done that I felt like I'm healing and every time I'm doing something that's not that I'm not healing and so, yeah, at least I have hope that I know that I'll heal eventually once it warms up and the bananas are good. So, yeah, I just want to make this video. Peace.